All right, and we are back with another episode review of My Adventures with Superman. This review or this video probably won't be as long as last week's. I think last week was like 20 minutes, give or take. And that's because there was kind of a lot to unpack there. Whereas this one is probably going to be a significantly shorter video because there wasn't a lot to go with or to work with on this one. Not to say that it was a bad episode, it was just kind of it was slow. And in this episode, we kind of pick up where the other episode left off with Jimmy being abducted. Now, I said it was a Sasquatch or a Yeti or whatever I said, Bigfoot, whatever. Uh, we find out that it was actually a gorilla, more specifically the gorilla that works with the brain. If you remember the brain specifically, uh, if you saw Teen Titans, uh, that you would know exactly who, who I'm talking about. And of course, if you're a DC Comics fan, period, you should know who the brain is. But there's a bit of a twist on, on these characters this time. Without going into too much detail, because at this point I would say just watch the episode for yourself. Uh, because I'm going to keep my opinions on, on that aspect of the episode to myself, I guess. Without trying to stir up too much trouble. But, yeah, that that, eps, that their dynamic is weird. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's different on here. Um, but they're also not the same super villains that we are used to them being. Now... I say that and I have to preface it by saying the brain is kind of violent by nature. Like he, he he's a shoot first, ask questions never type of character. And the gorilla kind of calms him down. And I can't remember the gorilla's name because he did have a name on there. But compared to what they were in like Teen Titans, it's definitely a, a different approach, right? They're they're not the they're not just mustache twirling villains. They're they're mad scientists, if you will. And I guess from that standpoint, you have to look at your own definition of what a mad scientist is, because generally they are depicted as evil, but I guess if you look at it in some circumstances, depending on what you're watching, a mad scientist, quote unquote, might not be evil, just as crazy as he is to say, maybe misunderstood or maybe misguided, if you will. A lot of the times these scientists just want to complete their experiment. Whatever this experiment is, they just want to complete it. Case in point, you look at Spider-Man 2, Ock wanted to, he, he wanted to complete his machine and, you know, the power of the sun in the palm of my hands, all that. And the problem was, it's just that there were things that kept on happening that, that messed that up. And so when the arms took over him, you know, they, they kind of pushed that madness uh, to the surface. Ock wasn't inherently a bad person, he just cared a lot about his experiment. That's just, you know, one example. But anyway, back to Superman. So, while Jimmy is talking to the brain and the gorilla because they don't mean him any harm, or the gorilla didn't mean him any harm at first. <laughs> um, well, actually, no, I'm I take that back. They were going to, like, cut his brain or something. And when he started talking and talking about how he was kind of excited about seeing that he was right, the gorilla kind of stopped and... They had a conversation, so they, they ended up becoming buddies. But um, meanwhile, Clark and Lois, who have realized that Jimmy is missing, went to the location where their camping ground was supposed to be and came across his phone. Now, of course, as I said last week, it was kind of a situation where Lois was kind of cold to Clark and Clark was trying to get on her good side. We I think we all knew that was going to be the case for this episode, but... It, it wasn't as harsh as I thought it would be. And to be honest, that whole thing was kind of wrapped up in this episode anyway. Because the point is that Lois was hurt that he didn't tell her that he was super, Superman. And they're going to they address that a little bit later on in the episode. But before I get to that, let me go ahead and say what else happened. So they tracked down to where, uh, where Jimmy is because they saw the footage. And they crossed like this force field. And once they crossed this force field, Clark has this sensation and at first I was like does, does Clark have a spider sense or something <laughs> what's going on because it's like I thought he was sensing danger but what it is is that this force field was red and the red force field if you know anything about Superman you know his weaknesses are kryptonite red sunlight and magic there's no kryptonite around nor has it been introduced in this show so far but the red light in the force field represented red sunlight so it was affecting his powers and you could tell as they got attacked by some drones 
and Clark wasn't able to just kind of knock them away like he could any other time. So he didn't know what it was, and he still doesn't technically know because he never figured out why his powers were drained. He just knew that they were drained. Uh, they ended up finding Jimmy, and they have this big, huge emotional conversation. I guess you can call it emotional where Clark and Lois are kind of apologizing to Jimmy and Lois mentions that Clark no Lois mentions that Clark is Superman and somehow they they hinted it and Clark's like yeah I'm, I'm Superman and he was like yeah I, I knew that already and then Jimmy gets mad because he's like wait you told Lois before you told your best friend <laughs> so there's this whole conversation they get attacked by more robots and the brain and the gorilla end up kind of helping them a little bit they go inside uh, as they're uh, chased by these robots, and the experiment that the brain and the gorilla were working on is this big black hole, and they end up getting it to work, and it, is usually, it actually turns into like this portal that, that takes them to, I guess, another world. We really don't know. They don't go into it too much. But you find out that the robots that are attacking and chasing Clark and Lois and everybody are uh, Task Force X robots. And they don't know why they're chasing them. They just know that they're hunting Superman down. And something about Superman's DNA uh, set off or activated them. I know it's a lot, but I, I guess I said there wasn't a lot going on in this episode. But it is a little bit. It's quite a bit to pack in, huh? Yeah, they they threw all this in towards the end of the episode, though. So that's why it didn't occur to me till just now. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so the, the robots, uh, I believe, are Task Force 6 robots. They're hunting down Superman. And I, I'm thinking the plot that they're going with right now is that when Clark landed on Earth, there must have been some Kryptonian technology, maybe. or There, there was something that happened because they, they make sure they reference that whatever this is that's going on with this general guy because he's a part of Task Force 6 and he's got some type of beef with, with Superman. It started 20 years ago around the same age that uh, Clark was, I think, when he first arrived on Earth when he was a baby, like, you know, 20 years when he was a baby. But um, we don't know what it is yet, right? We don't we don't know what exactly the General's beef is, and of course we'll find out as the series goes on. But the brain pretty much tells Clark, it's like, look, once he has his mind set on doing something or chasing someone or whatever, he's not going to stop. So they actually offer Clark the opportunity to come with them in this other world or whatever. But Clark is kind of like, no, you know, I'm gonna stay here, make the world a better place. You know, you know, Superman stuff. So Clark, Lois, and Jimmy all kind of make up. Lois is Team Clark again, of course, um, and, and they're all pretty much happy now. When they leave the area, Task Force X, specifically the General. Uh, shows up and he kind of looks at the laboratory uh, he's been there before obviously and basically he talks to someone behind him you turn when he turns around you find out that he's talking to uh, parasite who he has broken out of well he well, he should have been in the hospital but apparently he hadn't been in the hospital he's been in jail or uh, Ivo by the way that's his name but he's been in jail and uh, he has also grown his, some of his hair back he still looks kind of jacked up but he, his hair is back so they're gonna use something in that lab, or they're gonna use that laboratory to, I, I guess, make another parasite outfit. I don't, they it's kind of left up in the air what they're gonna do, but we know they're scheming something against Superman. So that pretty much is that episode. Like I said, there, it was a slower episode, and then they kind of pile on a bunch of uh, lore, if you will, a bunch of tidbits of information that you'll need to know going forward in the season. We don't know, again, we don't know where they're going with it. We just know that Task Force X is clearly the, the antagonist of this season. And we'll see how Parasite fits in. We'll see what else they do with Slade and, and who else they uh, bring in here. I've seen the episode preview for next week, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video because I, I like to keep things kind of a surprise, right? I don't, I don't like to talk about the previews too much. But um, from what I've seen, it looks like there's going to be quite a bit going on in next week's episode as well. So, yeah. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Drop a comment to let me know what you thought of the episode. Hit that subscribe button for more. And remember, we have the high ground. Catch you later.